All right, we're here with Zach McMath. Zach, what's it like to, you know, even after the way this year has gone, to, to finish off with a win at home? Yeah, it's great. You know, obviously it feels good for the guys to get a win after especially such a bad loss uh, last weekend, but also to, to give credit to the fans for, for showing up each game every, you know, all season long and uh, through the ups and the downs, we're happy that we can give them uh, a win. It's always tough playing against Sporting Kansas City. It's always really aggressive, very physical. What's it like for the guys in the locker room? You know, how do you, you talk to the team about keeping your composure in these kind of games? Yeah, you know, we, we prepared for them all week. We knew they were going to be a physical team, a team that pressed and, and got in the tackles and won a lot of second balls. So, you know, the team just really had to be prepared and, and, and deal with all the, the chaos that went on throughout the game. I know we can't speculate about your future right now, but... With having this last game at home, what's, are there any special emotions to, to having this uh, final game, at least this season, at PPL Park? Yeah, no, it's always great to, to end the season at, at home with a win and, you know, in front of the great fans that have been behind me all season long, to, like I said, through the ups and the downs uh, personally for me. So, you know, it's special for me to be here and, and to play in front of them, you know, the fans for my last game of the season. Well, best of luck with whatever. Thank you. All right, we're here with Andrew Wenger. Andrew, just... Talk about getting the win at home as just a way to wrap up the campaign, at least for the fans. Yeah, I mean, we're playing for the fans, but we're also playing for ourselves. I mean, we're playing to prove that we're, we're better than our record shows, and we're trying to build for things for next year. Uh, we let a lot of points slip away to this year in the last, I don't know, you can look at the stats, but we were really focused on the last 15 minutes tonight and closing out that game. How hard is it for you in, in a game like this where you have a lot of chances and whatever it is, the final ball, the final shot just, just isn't falling for you? Yeah, you just have to keep going. I mean, some days you get, you'll get, you pick up three like that. Other days it's not going to happen. I mean, just happy, happy that uh, we got the win. Some guys put some, the balls in the back of the net, and that's all that matters. Uh, your coach was very adamant that you already started to focus on playoffs for 2015. Are, are you able to, to mentally really get into that frame of mind yet, knowing there's a full off season and a lot of player moves that are going to happen? Yeah, um, I think guys are just focused on improving themselves right now and improving their mentality. And if everyone improves their mentality in here, that's going to really create a change because a lot of people, I mean, you guys right here, always say that our team is, we have a good team. But, I mean, now it's kind of getting over the fact that we might have a good team and really proving that we have a good team day in and day out over the, the course of a 34-game season or whatever it's, the heck it's going to be next year. So for you as someone who has been a striker and has sort of learned, learned the ropes out on the wing a little bit more this year, what do you feel like you need to work on in terms of taking your game to the next level? Yeah, um, I think there's really two parts of it is that being consistent throughout the 90 minutes, I think you see that I'm kind of fading in and out of games at times. Um, there's uh, just inconsistency, maybe giving away some poor balls here and there. And also the final ball. I mean, obviously, as an attacking player, what counts is the final statistic. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I mean, sometimes it's just guys make it, trying to put it in a place where guys can make a play. So that's, I mean, where you obviously want to see the most improvement. But, I mean, the whole overall game needs to make take steps. Well, it was a good season, and uh, best of luck uh, in Columbus. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a good season. We're not in the playoffs, so uh, I guess you call it a good effort. Fair enough. All right, we're here with Jimmy McLaughlin, long season in Harrisburg, and finally uh, got, got a couple minutes there at the end. What was it like to be rewarded for your season with, with a few minutes with the uh, with the first team? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's uh, it's my goal and that's my dream to play out here with the first team and uh, help contribute to, to victories for the club. So, uh, I mean, it was a great honor, and I'm very happy uh, to get in the game. What did the coach tell you as you were getting ready to, to go out there? He told me to run around like a madman up there and uh, close out the game and get the victory. I mean, that was the main priority, just press the defenders and not make it easy for him. As a young player, how much confidence do you take from the year that you and the team had in Harrisburg uh, making it all the way to the final with Sacramento? Yeah, it's great. I mean, whenever you can uh, be a, a big part of a team that makes a run and goes to a championship game, it's, uh, it does lows to your confidence, and it's really helped me and myself develop and uh I can feel it when I play every day, and I'm hoping to, to translate it here in the, at the next level. We're here with Moby Akugo. Getting that win on the last, on the last home game in front of a, a big crowd, what did that feel like for you after, after the season that you guys have had? Yeah, I mean, it's rewarding for all the hard work we put in. I mean, we went through a lot of ups and downs this season, and we wanted to end the right way, not only for ourselves, but for the fans. You know, they stuck with us throughout the whole season. And, you know, we got to take the positives from the season. You know, it's kind of getting repetitive, but... There was a lot of good. Um, the younger guys stepped up. You know, you see Pedro and Brown in the last game. Everyone, you know, we're finally seeing the hard work we put in, you know, 
we're being rewarded for it. Now we just got to cut out the mental mistakes and hopefully we can move forward from that. You always seem to relish a good fight with uh, Kansas City. You know, I know you like to mix up with Benny Fellhaber. What's it like in those games where those guys are, are going to throw elbows, kick you, and, and then go flopping around a little bit? Yeah, I mean, Kansas City is a model organization. You know, they went through the, uh, some of the struggles that we are going through right now. And um, in terms of MLS teams, you know, they're one of the few teams that you should follow in terms of philosophy and how they're doing they're doing things the right way. So whenever we play against them, we relish that. Um, I feel like ever since the Open Cup, the one year when they beat us in the semis, every time we play them, it's, it's an, it's an all-out battle. Uh, uh, Benny Fowler is a great player. He's been on the national team, World Cup. So whenever I get a chance to play against him, I always, I always have fun. So, you know, with this being the end of the season, there's a lot of speculation about a, a lot of roster shakeup, and, and you're a guy whose name gets mentioned a lot. Uh, is there any talk about, about your future? Have you had conversations with the union? Oh, no. Uh, we haven't really had conversations with each other. You know, I think we're just focusing on the season at hand. Um, they haven't formally come to me at all. So I think it's been agreed that we won't discuss anything until the end of the season. All right, Ray Gaddis, getting the win at home. How important is that to, to, you know, show your emotion and show what you care about the fans? Thank you. It means a lot because, uh, you know, they come here and, and they pay good money to, to watch us. And, I mean, uh, it means a lot when they come out and support us and, uh, how we how we show up on the field shows a lot to the fans, and, and when we when we play at our best or grind our result, they love that. You guys have a, a a pretty chippy, pretty aggressive history with Sporting Kansas City, and, and you were mixing it up, you know, with with Benny Philhopper and some of the guys in the corner. What's getting said in there? What what what, what are those kind of conversations like? I mean, I don't talk. Uh, nothing's being said. You show up, you play, uh, you let them do the talking. You just don't back down from nobody. That's what I was taught. Uh, that's what I'm, I want to instill in the rest of the guys. Uh, you know, uh, we don't back down from anybody. Tonight, you know, our season's over, but tonight I was stressing that it's the start of next season. Let's build on next season. Let, let's end the right way. So after a couple games at right back, you're back at left back. Talk about your chemistry with Andrew Wenger as it, as it continues to develop out, out on the left. Oh, it's great. I mean, I'm just encouraging Andrew, man. Don't even hesitate to go. I know what he can do week in and week out, and I feel like if he's going forward offensively and I lock it down defensively and I can go forward offensively and he helps me on defense, it could be the best left side uh, in the league uh, for future. So uh, that's my mentality. So you've been pretty much an Iron Man for this team, played a lot of minutes this year. Do you look forward to the to the off season and, and getting a little bit of rest? Do you just you just want to keep rolling if you could? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some rest. I play a lot of minutes, but I'm always gonna work hard. You can't never settle, and uh, I mean, I mean, you you gotta always get better. And I mean, this year wasn't good enough. So why are you gonna settle? You know, we gotta go forward and, and get better and build a build up build upon. Like I said, ending the season the right way and transition to next season.